and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. Today is a special day. It's March 26th, 2020, a Thursday here in Phoenix. And it's a special day because we are celebrating an anniversary of sorts. I'll show you something in my hand here. This is a plane ticket from 2003, dated right there, March 26th, 2003. That, my friends, is the day that I flew from Las Vegas, Nevada, to San Jose, California, to buy my Legend Coupe. Check that out. Happy anniversary, 17 years it's been with that one. So as part of today's video tribute, I'm gonna serve up a little bit of throwback uh, stuff, pictures from over the years. I'll share a little bit about my maintenance uh, records from 2003 to current as well as the records I got from the prior owner and just uh, take you alone on a quick little walk around of the car now that it's uh, 26 years old so here we go It's after hours at a bank here near the Biltmore area of Phoenix and as good a place as any to do my quick walk around here on the evening of the 17th anniversary with my coupe. Definitely has some wear and tear from over the years. Uh, daily drove this car for its first nine years and I wasn't ashamed about taking it off-road in inclement weather it was driven for two snow seasons in northern Utah I did have it stuck in a snow drift once up there I went through I believe a dozen or more sets of wheels on this car you can check that on my blog but somehow I've never gotten sick of it and even to this day I think if I had to sell every car in the collection except for one this 1994 legend coupe might be the one that has to stick around so i'll get a little bit more up close and personal and we'll call it a wrap the nose of this car has been resprayed twice many of you from the legend forums will remember i hit two deer with this car in texas in 2007 so nearly totaled it out Actually, a lot of the car has been painted in pieces and you'll recognize that it's not a complete match in some cases. I did have the Serona lip spoiler installed many, many years ago. Body's in pretty good shape for its age and miles. I had to put two new Michelin tires on it in Tallahassee, Florida on my 5,600 mile road trip last October to Key West and back. So the front two tires are new. The back still have some meat on them. The front bumpers never sat quite right ever since I ran it up against the curbstone and any legend driver will tell you this is common, but the bumper basically just ripped itself all the way off. On the interior, it's all original minus a couple updates. Maybe 15 or 16 years ago, I did a cat skin leather install with the two-tone, including the embroidery up here and the headrests. I also added the JDM door seals, which have the legend insignia here. Of course, my factory floor mat, I'm not even gonna 
try and shake that off for you. There's a hole where my heel actually, over the course of 572,000 miles, has worn completely through the floor mat. This aftermarket stereo system eventually is gonna go. I have the factory Bose head unit uh, in my closet at the house. Of course, some of the NSX and S2000 aficionados in the audience will recognize Mr. Yohara-san, uh, Shigeru Yohara. He was the lead developer in the NSX and S2000 program, has since retired from Honda. All right. Oh, check this out, my favorite coupe feature. Back windows go down. Actually, everything in this car that's electronic still works. Even 500,000 miles of the door closers, and they still work flawlessly. Let's take a peek under the hood. So I left it running here. This car, unfortunately, doesn't see a lot of use now, day to day. I've been daily driving the ILX since I got it in 2012, but this car somehow still sees between, I think, five and 7,000 miles per year. It's the original 3.2 liter Type 2 V6 with 230 horsepower. Of course, there's some wiring here from an aftermarket audio system that I installed when I was 21. And ever since I had that deer incident in 2007, the radiator support here has had some crinkling to it and I'm actually missing a piece of hardware right there. We'll talk just a second on maintenance. So of course, I do have two volumes of receipts here that add up to, as I'll show you, $38,000 in maintenance spend over the course of 26 years. But this car has complete paperwork all the way back to and including its original first oil change when it was delivered as a new car in 1994 at 251 miles. The story, I, as I understand it, this car was actually the loaner car for the dealership that it was at. That's why it had a couple hundred miles on it when the uh, original owner took delivery. Okay, so let's talk maintenance for just a quick second since I have my paperwork here in front of me. I jotted down some notes that I pulled from my Excel spreadsheet. So 572,740 some odd miles, 38,000 in maintenance spend comes out to six cents per mile. The cars had 177 oil changes, which comes out to a 3,235 mile change interval. I do use uh, conventional oil. I think my preferred over the years has been Valvoline 5W30. And here's a few more specific notes for you. Eight batteries, seven timing belts, including the original, six EGR system services, that's engine gas recirculation. In other words, that's the system on this Legend C32A motor that's known to develop a carbon deposit if you don't get it cleaned out on a regular basis. My car has been uh, had that service performed a number of times. Four windshields, four sets of spark plugs, three starter replacements, three alternator replacements, and one fuel pump. The original fuel pump did die at 399,000 miles. And uh, to my recollection, that's the only time this car has ever been on a tow truck was 399,000 miles. All that being said, it is still probably the most reliable car that I own. I would trust it to the moon and back in a heartbeat. Uh, it's been idling this whole time I've been filming and the temperature sits right where it needs to. Everything about it is just on point. So let's go ahead and roll on home. I'll show you at the end of the video here that the car's been to, I believe it's 37 states. I don't know if I got a picture at every state line, but you'll see some of my state line pictures. And I uh, really appreciate everybody coming along for the ride. I don't know when this car will get to 600,000 and beyond, but if uh, past experience is any indication, I'm well on my way. So thanks everybody for watching.